Good morning and welcome to the video for fifth grade for lesson 6.2 from Into Math. In our last lesson, uh, which actually included uh, this first page on accident because I had it in the way, um, we were working with uh, using equivalent fractions to be able to add and subtract. We're going to continue doing that, um, but we're going to have to do a little bit more work uh, than some of the problems that we did in the first lesson. So let's go ahead and take a look at an example. We're going to be using fraction strips again to help us. Um, so Julia ran through an obstacle course and climbed a cargo net in a quarter of a minute, uh, crosses the balance beam in one sixth of a minute. And we want to figure out the total um, amount of time as a fraction. So um, some of my students will be really, really good at working with time and be like, hey, wait, this is worth about 10 seconds or exactly 10 seconds and this is worth 15 seconds and we can just add them together. Well, you can definitely do that and that can help with the turn and talk question that we'll talk about, but we want to use the actual fractions uh, for the answers to make sure we're practicing exactly what we're working with for today. So I'm going to draw out some fraction strips. I'm going to pause the video and I will be right back in just a moment to continue talking through this problem. All right, so now I'm back. I've got the picture and the answer uh, given for us. So we can't use six as a common denominator. We're going to have to go all the way out to 12. And so we can draw our fraction strip, the top one with four equal parts, and then set a separate one up below it. So similar to what I did in the last video, we're going to divide that up into 12 parts. We're going to get one, two, three, four, five total parts out of 12 uh, for both obstacles. And then as we work our way down the page, um, we do have one additional question um, that we would talk through in groups. So if we want to um, also do an additional half of a minute, um, we could go ahead and represent that as six additional parts. And so if we did five plus six, that would give us 11 twelfths. And then uh, no, um, it doesn't exceed one minute. So um, actually, I guess I should say it, it does not exceed one minute. So does she finish in less than a minute? Yes. Um, so that would be our answer for that. We're going to go over and we're going to see something similar. So. I don't normally include um, the fraction strips like this, um, but we can do this and figure out what's going to work. So um, I normally draw them separately like I've been showing you um, in the last couple videos. Uh, some obstacle courses include a rope climb, so it says Travis climbs two-thirds of the length. On the second time he climbs, uh, more than the first try by one sixth. So we get this far for the first one, we get this far for the second one. And so what we can do is we can actually divide this up into sixths uh, to figure out what our answer should be and then count them up. And so we would get one, two, three, four, five sixths uh, for that. Um, it says uh, for this part here, um, Another student used uh, 1 12th fraction strips. Um, you could use that. Um, it's more work, but if you wanted to uh, make 12 be the common denominator uh, between these two fractions, it would work. Um, we would just, again, double. Uh, we would end up with 10 twelfths for that. Um, could you use only thirds to represent the sum? No. Um, we can't because we're going to have two-thirds plus one-sixth. Um, and so, again, we're going to get uh, five-sixths uh, for our answer for the second try. So that concludes some of the things that we're working on. Again, this is partially a review of some things that we worked on last year in fourth grade. So hopefully as we do more work, this will come back to our memory uh, for how to do that. Again, whenever we're adding fractions, we are never going to uh, change the bottom number after we find an equivalent fraction. So we have to have the same denominator uh, for both parts. And then when we add, we are only adding the top number. When we take away, we're only taking away the top number. Um, the number of parts in our shape does not change because we're adding parts together or taking parts away. So hope that's a good review for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me by text or by email. Hope you have a great day and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.